Hello everyone, welcome back to the DOS TV. If not the first time when you see this channel, make you know our car pass, make you like and share and subscribe. As you do that, may God bless you. All my amazing returning subscribers, you all are welcome for your amazing support. May God bless every one of you. I got the video one that I want to drop. What do I think about this video? Put it in the comment section. Please like the video, share the video. If you never subscribe, subscribe and press the bell so that me they join the movie train as they move. As you do that, may God bless you. I see you guys on my next video. The Bakasi Peninsula. So it is nothing new. Uh, it is part of the challenges, and uh, of course, we are ready to face it. And before I go further to say uh, something on that. I wouldn't want to give details of what inspired, but uh, let me start from uh, the uh, recent or reported the recent alliance with uh, Mazi Simon Ekba, uh, the pioneer of the auto pilot team of IPOB. Um, it is a good one. I know that some people are in support, while some are not in support. Uh, first of all, this is BNL. We have their, we know how we do our things, and the decision is not in, being imposed on, our, on, on my officers, on my officials, my colleagues. We met, usually we, our decision is always a collective one. It's not a personal decision. I don't run a one-man leadership. I have my deputy, uh, Comrade Buta Takon. I have my chief of staff, an indigenous of Bagasi, uh, Mr. Lai Musician. I have my uh, admin officer, and uh, who is also the chairman of uh, a standing committee, of senior officials, uh, Mr. Gosta and Tukidem. I have also my national uh, uh, coordinator and uh, state coordinators, and uh, we also have uh, commanders, of our paramilitary, and uh, everybody's opinion matters. And uh, I listen to everybody. We discuss and we made a collective decision to align with uh, Mr. Simon Ekpa, uh, who organized a Zoom meeting about a week ago. And uh, some of us, we've been seeing reactions, people have been calling us, sending us messages, both on WhatsApp and uh, on, uh, uh, on Facebook, uh, lamenting and uh, you know, complaining about the alliance, be kicking against the alliance, or whatever. Uh, I want to make it clear that uh, we are not, we still remain GNL, we still remain what we used to know. We are not against anybody. We are not against, the alliance is not against anybody. It is for the best interest of our people. This struggle is every group comes together. No group can do it alone, and no one man can do it alone. Every group uh, have their potentials. They have also have their weakness. Uh, even in IPOB, there are some areas they are lacking. In BNL, there are some areas we are lacking. In Maso, there are some areas they are lacking. In BNG, there are some areas they are lacking. A lot of groups. So if these groups come together and fill the loopholes, what are the things we are lacking? That these ones, you know, let me use for example, let me use for example, uh, BNL, many of you, or many people know us as a border operating group, we operate at the borders, we operate at the, back, at the Gulf of Guinea, the Bakasi Peninsula, and of course, no Biafran group, no pro Biafran group exists at the borders. No pro Biafran group operate at the Gulf of Guinea. It is BNL. And we all know the importance of the Gulf of Guinea. 
we all know the importance of securing our borders and our waterways. And uh, of course, we are the only people that have direct link, direct uh, link in terms of border crossing with Ambazonia. We are the only group that have direct access to other countries in the Gulf of Guinea, like Equatorial Guinea, which is us after you cross the Jabato, uh, you go to Equatorial Guinea, uh, Gabon, and Congo, and uh, even the Cameroon area. And uh, of course, uh, just that we don't have the necessary uh, uh, materials, we can monitor whatever comes in and goes out of our peninsula. And uh, that is the importance of BNL. And the groups in the hinterland also have their own uh, 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 what they are good, very good at. You know, a lot of us, some of the group, they have the financial strength, they have the media uh, power, of which the BNL does not have that. We don't have the finance, we don't have the media uh, power, and uh, which, of course, IPOB is, uh, have that capacity. You know, and then we came together with uh, those uh, that are accepted collaboration. So I don't see any reason why some people should be panic, why some people should be uh, panicking and insulting uh, and blackmailing, uh, 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 blackmailing laws and the group involved. You know, you, you, we, we are open to everybody. We never rejected anybody. And uh, even your, your leaders, they know we exist. They have seen what we have, do, been, we have done, and what we have been doing. Uh, we know what we did when Mr. Namdikano was first arrested in 2016. I wouldn't want to start digging out some certain things, you know. First thing, nobody, even the Avengers that I feel be focused on supporting, sending money, sponsoring, never did what we did. They were only breaking pipelines and it's political. Avengers is a political formation. Our boys were able to hijack a foreign vessel, an oil vessel. First thing is of its kind in the history of Africa. Check, go online, even the Nigerian military, Navy, police, government, everybody was they issue statement, they threatened us and they you know. And during that period I was uh, I was apprehended by the soldiers of Operation Delta Save in the Khan Cameroon border uh, three days after that incident uh, incidents in the peninsula. And uh, we didn't even see any appreciation from IPOB leadership. Uh, we didn't see any message. Nobody reached out to us. Oh, you people have tried. All what we were seeing was disclaimer. Well, we don't know them. We are not part of them. We are not responsible for the hijack of sheep. Myself issue statements. IPOB issue statements. <laughs> well, so look at these people. Look at these people. I know. But that didn't stop us from doing what we, are, we know best. Even now that Mr. Kano is in detention, we have been doing our best. And they, are not, they are pretending not to see it. You know, as a supposed leaders, you are supposed to reach out to this group. Dude, this group has been, you know, joining voice, wanting pressure on our behalf, and uh, we are pretending we are not seeing them. Let us reach out to them. They didn't reach out. And Mr. Simon Epa reached out, contacted us, we discussed, we held a meeting, and you are complaining. Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? It's only a fool, it's only uh, uh, an agent of darkness that would not that would want us to continue fighting for the African disunity. In this unity. We can't continue that way. Nobody can do it all. Uh, again, I'm here to officially dismiss the claim or the allegation that uh, my ordeal yesterday was a setup by Mr. Simon Nekwa and his team 
and uh, some people wrote that oh because of the alliance i was uh, intercepted i was arrested let me intercepted not an arrest because i, I wasn't uh, taken to the office i wasn't arrested i was intercepted for four hours at uh, isi alamba no local government area of uh, imo state and uh, many people were writing oh we told them we told them not to align with the uh, money blah, blah 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 what have you uh when i was first of arrested in bakasi peninsula by nigerian soldiers it wasn't because of someone it was because of my activities and when the second arrest which is 2018 by nigerian police it wasn't because of anybody it was because of my activity it was because of the activities of bnl so because if you don't know, you can go to the official Wikipedia of Bakasi Peninsula and see the activities of what is going on there. Or you go to the Biafra <laughs> area, or you go to, you see it on the news there, uh, what has happened, my day in the Bakasi. It's not because of anybody. So stop saying what you don't know. Say what you know and know what you don't know. We told them if, if, if they have seen it, they have. What have we seen? What, I, what did I see yesterday that I have not seen before? That I have not seen before. What happened yesterday? Just a checkpoint. Do you know what is happening in Bakasi? Do you know what is happening around the borders? Where I have been? Where I sleep in the street in the jungle? Yeah? And some people were saying, oh, what brought him out? Why is he moving like that? Why is he... I went to a church program. I was invited by a friend, a very good friend of mine, in fact, a brother, who is from uh, Olo in Imo State, he was a catechist. And uh, he was to be ordained a priest of the Anglican Church yesterday. And I was invited. And I had to go to identify with him, which I did. And I get him to the, uh, the Isiaramba, no? I was intercepted. It was a very, I've not seen that kind of checkpoint anywhere in Ibo land. The only place I see such checkpoint is at the borders and in Bakasi. That kind of checkpoint, like as if there's a war going on there, a very mighty checkpoint, a combined team of police, civil defense, and army stationed there at Isha Lamba. Stationed there. You know, and incidentally, it happened at my maternal home. That community is my maternal home. I don't want to mention the place. It's my maternal home. And they stopped me. Uh, they started talking about a security touch in my vehicle. My staff, which also have a sword. I wouldn't want to, I don't have time to go to it anyway. But uh, the most important thing is that at the end of everything, I was not moved to the office because they were contemplating to move me there. Even if they move me there, it's not the first time. I have been moved to 14 BZ, 14 Brigade, Calabar, the headquarters of Operation Delta State in South South, from Ikan, Cameroon border and Bakas. I was moved there. From there, I was transferred to DSS, detained in DSS. What have I not seen? <laughs> that I, what, I see, what did I see yesterday that I have not seen before? You know, that people were, some people were jubilating. Oh, who brought him out? Why won't I go out? I have the right. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a terrorist. And I can't stay one place. Stay in one place. How do I survive? How do you expect me to survive? I have my businesses. I have to go and run my business, monitor my businesses. I can't stay inside one house. To be hiding inside one house. To be hiding in one place. How do, I, how do you expect me to survive? You know? You know that this struggle, all the we are doing is sacrifice. We are sacrificing our money, we are sacrificing our time, we are sacrificing everything we have. And you still expect me to sacrifice my stomach, I shouldn't go out, I shouldn't, I should stay in one place, for what? So, the truth is that I'm not afraid of anybody, I'm not afraid of challenges, I'm very careful. Because I'm very, very careful in my dealings. And I don't talk too much. I don't give out information. 
and uh, just like I read in our group, uh, in our page posted today, don't wear, find my statement. If I have ever claimed responsibility of any action or act, act any militant attack in Pakase before, I have not. So you can't hold it against me. You have no evidence to charge me, to prosecute me, that I'm aiding militants. That was what they were saying at the checkpoint yesterday. I was aiding militants in Bakasi. I was aiding militants. Ah, what is your evidence? Where have you, have you seen me with gun? Even as you search my vehicle, did you see any gun there? Did you see any? Have you seen me in any video with gun? Or you've seen me before with uh, militants or whatever? No. If militants came out and said, oh, they are for us, I welcome them. Anybody who is doing anything in the interest of Jafra is welcome. So you can't use that because of some people have identified with us, some people are part of command. Members can be militant, yes. I won't deny that. But you have not seen me in any act or in any uh, whatever. And you try to label me. You know, you don't have evidence. That is just it. There's no evidence against me. There's no evidence, and that is why I'm not afraid. That is why I'm not afraid. So, but even as that, I know I'm very careful. I'm in Nigeria. I read uh, a post by somebody that uh, what am I doing in Nigeria? What am I doing in Nigeria? Uh, and uh, and uh, I wonder. How, what that person actually mean? What am I doing in Nigeria? So, you want me to run away? And when I run away, you will be the first to say, Oh, if you don't fight her, why not come down home and fight? I don't know how, what kind of mentality some of us have. The same person now that is saying, What am I doing in Nigeria? If he hears now that I have run to Cameroon or I have run to Gabon, will be the first. He will be, he or she will be the first to post. Why is he running away? Why not stay? We keep creating problems unnecessary. I have the opportunity, every opportunity, to escape from this country, to leave this country at any time. From Bakasi, I can find my way to Equatorial Guinea. I can find my way to Congo. I can find my way to Gabon. I can find my way to Cameroon any time I want to. Any time I want to move to Equatorial Guinea, to, to Congo. I don't find it interesting to go there and say, it's very easy, very easy. You move there, even at 1 a.m., you can take a boat and move at any time at all. It's very easy. They are very, their vacancy is surrounded by creeks. So I don't want to move to those places. I remain here. It has not gotten to that level where I will, okay, let me, more or less, my life is being treasured somehow. I can sort of let me shift uh, for now. But for now, I'm here, and somebody is saying that, you, why am I, what am I doing here? What am I doing in Nigeria? You see, when I run away, you'll be taking, you will take you serious. And when I came out, the same people again started saying, the same people who said, oh, they have set him up. Oh, alliance with uh, Simon Nectar have uh, affected him. Uh, the same people now started asking how many she came out. Why wasn't uh, Chiwatalago released? Why wasn't uh, Idarago released? How many did he come out? Huh? I don't know how the kind of mentality we have. That was the same thing when I was arrested in, 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 by soldiers in 2016. Nobody came, nobody asked. And I came out, they were asking how many you came out. How we get? Some of us, some of you are. The same time with police. I was in police custody in 2018. Nobody came. Even while the higher authority there in Cross River gave me automatic bail without shorty. Before they gave me that bail, I called and called and called some of our brothers here. The what? What even surprised me most is that the person I left his office in Oweri that invited me, came back from London, he invited me. I left his office in Oweri to Calabar, to Bakasi, and he heard of the news of my arrest. He was the first person I called after 
Well, after four days, they gave me phone to make call. I called him. Can you please? That was when uh, I think a week they have uh, granted me bill. Can you please send just seven thousand naira to somebody in Eket to come down to Calaba and sign a shorty? Seven thousand naira in case he, he didn't make it in, in time. He can lodge. The man said he, he shouted, "Oh, seven thousand naira is too much." I left his office in no way. I'm telling you, he might be he might be watching me. I don't care. You know. So a lot of things that we have passed through the hands of people who call our own. And when I came out, he was asking how many, how many did he came out? How many? Do you know what went on the ground? You think I'm the kind of person agitator or freedom fighter that insult everybody? That you know that when you are in trouble, they will come for a rescue. I'm not that kind of person. Understand? So, I don't know the day that we were going to have sense. We have left the issue. How are we going to, how are we going to get Biafra? We are no longer talking about it. We are here talking about groups. We are here from fighting. Even it has gotten to the extent where uh, 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 armed groups now hunt themselves. Now hunt themselves in Ibo land. You know, it's very bad. It's very bad. Is this how you are going to get Mr. Namikano out from prison? Is this how we are going to get the Afra? Why not we reason for once? Reason like real human beings. Reason like real human beings. Yeah? Every day we we'll come online, we we'll begin to write rubbish, we'll begin to write nonsense. You feel you are doing the, you are doing the right thing. You feel you are doing the right thing. I don't know when we will, when we will have sense. When some of you will have sense. I don't know. This struggle is for everybody to join hands together. It's for everybody to join hands together. Yes, my people, we don't come to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please share the video. Don't forget to subscribe and press that bell. See you guys for my next video. Bye-bye.